Okay, so this garage band is this little icon here, my dot looks like a little guitar. Now as you can see, when I'm talking, this is going up and down, that's because we've got an internal microphone inside your Mac computer. So, and at the moment, mine is set to voice, usually you get an option, it says voice, let's start a new one. So we go file, new, and then you get these options. So loops is if you want to make a track out of loops that are already there. Uh, these are other options, but click voice if you want to record your own voice, and we're going to call this voice test. Save that wherever you want, onto the desktop I'm going to save it. Okay, and this is what it looks like, so here you see it's recording my voice, or I can record into the female voice. It doesn't mean you're a man or a woman, it's just so you can distinguish which is two in case you record two different voices. So I'm going to click on the man one for now, and all you do is click this red button, and what it's doing right now is recording my voice onto the computer. So say that I wanted to record my voice to go with a little cartoon. I could play the little cartoon as I'm watching it. So then what I've done, I've recorded it onto here. And I'll press uh, stop. Press stop. And if we were... If we rewind that, we can record, we can listen to my voice. And what it's doing right now is recording my voice onto the computer. So say that I wanted to record my voice to go with a little cartoon. I could play the little cartoon as I'm watching it. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, Command Z is undo. So then I want to make everything a bit smaller. So what I want now is to export that into iTunes so that I can use it in my video when I um, edit it in Final Cut Express. So you go to share and you send to iTunes and make sure the encoder is mp3 because um, Final Cut Express doesn't take in AEC files. So it's an mp3 and then you just click share. I'm going to change the name to Shona Voice. Share. And what that does, it converts it from um, GarageBand into iTunes, and then it will automatically pop up. My voice. Okay, so that's what we've done. And then if you wanted to put that into Final Cut Express, then you just go import, and then you go into iTunes, and you look for the name that you saved it under, and you can import it. Okay, so it's really easy to get things from GarageBand into Final Cut Express.